Hey there, everyone. We're here with one of our product managers, Carrie, to talk about HRV, more formally known as heart rate variability. So, Carrie, thank you for coming out and meeting with us today to talk a little bit about this. So, why don't we begin with what is HRV? Your heart rate um, doesn't beat in a perfectly regular rhythm. So, there's actually, um, you know, from beat to beat, there's a little bit of variation. And so the heart rate variability uh, is measuring that variation from beat to beat. And we show it measured in milliseconds. Okay, and that's something that could vary either in training during the day uh, or at rest. Right, yeah. So generally, um, you know, you, you can see higher or lower HRV values. A higher HRV value is, is generally associated with being in more of a um, relaxed, rested state. A uh, lower HRV is uh, generally associated with being in more of a stressed state. But this isn't the first time that we've been leveraging HRV information and data. We've been actually utilizing it for years in our products. Can you elaborate and kind of build on that a little bit more? Right, yeah. Yeah, HRV, uh, it's been used um, kind of on the back end of things uh, as a component to feed into of our uh, all-day wellness metrics. So um, stress tracking is a, is a good one, our all-day stress. Uh, that uses heart rate and heart rate variability to measure your stress levels throughout the day and night. Um, and then also, um, you know, stress is very closely linked to our body battery feature. Um, the body battery monitors your energy levels throughout the day. Um, and then HRV is also uh, factored into sleep tracking. Um, you know, basically seeing like how you're recovering. How would somebody who has a watch that's compatible with HRV and HRV and has HRV status on it, what steps do they need to take to start getting uh, metrics and getting their HRV measured? It's really easy. <laughs> um, the, the beauty of the HRV status is that um, there's really no um, user input required. Uh, the most important thing is that you just wear the watch to sleep. We try to kind of build up as much information as we can about your overnight to try and remove like uh, anomalies or, or um, uh, spikes or, or differences that might not be significant. Once we've gotten a week's worth of those overnight HRV values, we'll provide a seven day average HRV. And then over about a three week period, once you've been wearing the, the watch to sleep, we can build up enough uh, information about you, enough history to understand what your personal uh, baseline range is, so what's a, a normal range of HRV values for you. Uh, and then we use that to, uh, we compare your seven day average against your personal baseline range to tell you whether your, your HRV is currently in balance, uh, which is a good sign that your body is in homeostasis and that you're, um, you know, adequately recovering from you know any training load that you've, you've put on your body, stress that you put on your body. If somebody is unbalanced on either side, what is, is there a general idea that any customer could be able to kind of determine based on that uh, why it reached that realm and then steps that they could do to try to correct it? Uh, you know, there's a couple things to look at. Um, look at your training. How much training have you been doing recently? Um, have you have you ramped up the amount of training, or have you been doing more um, intense training than usual? Um, maybe you know if you see that you're in the unbalanced and, and you're staying in the unbalanced, then you know that might be a sign. Okay, maybe I need to, to back off on my training a bit, um, get a little bit more rest. Could be other factors as well. Um, you know, just looking at like um, sleep, um, sleep habits, making sure you're getting enough sleep. Um, trying to get more restful moments during the day. Some other factors could include fighting off an illness. Alcohol consumption can play a factor. You know, making sure you maintain a healthy diet. Uh, those are all things that can help to bring your HRV back into balance. What ultimately sh should a Garmin customer walk away with having this information ready and available on their, on their wrist at a glance? Main goal would be to stay in that balanced range. Um, you know, if you go unbalanced, um, you know, that can be a sign that, okay, maybe I'm overtraining. So it's really something to just pay attention to. And, you know, if, if you see that it's starting to um, get out of alignment, um, you know, look for ways to, um, to bring it back in, additional recovery or uh, maybe easing, easing up on your training a bit. It's ultimately there to help you really find that, that 
we've used balance a lot, equilibrium, <laughs> whatever it is, yep. but just to make sure that you're paying as much attention to your training and recovery, right. that you're taking care of your body big picture wise and making sure that they're working and playing together nicely. If anybody has any other questions regarding HRV, HRV status, feel free to either leave that in the comments below or go check out Garmin.com. Uh, otherwise, thanks for stopping by and we look forward to seeing you again next time.